Once upon a time in China, there was a company called Evergrande. It all started back in 1996 when a visionary named Su Jane founded it. Evergrande had big dreams, and those dreams were as tall as the skyscrapers they built. Evergrande wasn't just your average real estate developer. They were a powerhouse. They acquired land at a breakneck pace and constructed awe-inspiring buildings that reached for the sky. What set them apart was their financial wizardry. They sold homes to people before the buildings were even completed. It was like selling dreams in the form of blueprints. As they grew, Evergrande diversified. They ventured into electric vehicles, hoping to revolutionize the automotive industry. They even acquired a football club, showing their ambition knew no bounds. But every success story has its twists and turns. In 2020, the Chinese government decided it was time to rein in the property market. They introduced strict rules to stop real estate companies from borrowing too much money. It was like a sudden storm on Evergrande's horizon. These new rules hit Evergrande hard. Their massive debt became a heavy burden, and they struggled to keep up with their financial promises. Credit ratings started to drop, and alarm bells rang throughout the industry. The trouble didn't stop there. Homeowners who had invested their dreams with Evergrande began to worry. Some even protested, fearing they might lose their homes. Suppliers who relied on Evergrande for business were also feeling the pinch. As the crisis deepened, the Chinese government stepped in, concerned about the ripple effects Evergrande's fall could have on the broader economy. They urged Evergrande to stabilize its finances, but the company was drowning in debt. Evergrande had to make difficult choices. They started selling off prized assets, including their electric vehicle ventures and even shares in their property management companies. It was like a fire sale to raise money and pay down their debts. And so, the world watched with bated breath. Would Evergrande find a way out of its financial labyrinth, or would it become a cautionary tale of ambition and debt? The story of Evergrande remained a suspenseful cliffhanger, with its impact reaching far beyond the skyscrapers of China affecting the lives and dreams of many. This story continues to unfold, and only time will reveal its final chapter.